Today is uh, November 23rd, 2008, and I wanted to uh, have a look at unemployment and what we can say about the unemployment situation going forward. I do a search on Google for unemployment statistics, and it is the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics who is putting out the official numbers for unemployment. Now we go to their website and we find that the unemployment rate for October was 6.5%. News release is right here. And it goes on to say that the unemployment rate is on a rise. And these numbers were released on Friday, November 7, and they were about the October numbers. Well, now November is fast coming to an end, and I wanted to see if I could uh, predict or say something about the future development of this, if the unemployment situation is still on the increase, or if it is decreasing. To use that, I used a tool called Google Insight. to see if we could uh, use Google Insight to predict something about the future of the unemployment situation. Now, Google Insight is a tool where you can research how many people search for specific terms. It's a great tool, it's free and it's by Google. We can just look out to test something, we can search for Obama. And we will see that for the last couple of years, since 2004, 2005, 2006, 7, and 8, makes sense. Obama wasn't that famous way back. He got a rally early in 2008. And then, of course, when he won the presidency, he shot up the number of searches. This is worldwide. We can do another search for Easter to see if the seasonal fact is there and it looks pretty reasonable people search for Easter around each year, Easter every year now let's look at the situation specifically in the United States of America go down here and we'll find the United States and let's just search for the um, well to the years and uh, search for something that's related to unemployment. Let's do unemployment. Now what we see in this graph is rather frightening. You can see here that the search level is steady, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007. But then, in late 2008, it shoots up. I feel this is very worrisome. We can um, narrow down the search to the last 12 months. And we see an even more dramatic spike in November. You see that? This is October numbers. These are November numbers. It is fairly reasonable to believe that people that do become unemployed will search for unemployment. But of course it's also the fact that unemployment is high in the attention of everyone right now, so people are searching for unemployment in general. Let's try to narrow down the search to unemployment benefits. It's reasonable to think that people that get unemployed are interested in that, and not just interested in general. We see the same spike perhaps even stronger for November. We can also see that people are searching for unemployment benefits in New York, Minnesota, New Jersey, Nevada. These are the places with the highest number of search. And you can also see that the specific searches are extended, unemployment benefits, unemployment extension, and so on. Very worrisome indeed. Now, um, let's do a search for something else that's related to this. Layoffs, for example, should say something about what's going on. And um, we see a very similar development. Layoffs are 
rising sharply. And I want you to pay attention also to the curve here. It's not just rising linearly. It started a rise in September that is rising exponentially. The rate in the increase is increasing. And it's clear how the trend is trending. Uh, and of course also a exponentially rising curve will keep on rising faster than what the uh, just the curve looks like uh, in front of your eyes right now because the, the nature of an exponential curve. We can even do a search for a narrower period, like 90 days for layoffs. And we see even more clearly that this is rising exponentially. day curve doesn't really tell us that much so we'll stick with the 12 month one where it's absolutely very clear we um, do a couple of more searches just to see if uh, our analysis is uh, reasonable losing job let's search for that not that clear how that is, but you can you can clearly see that there is an increase here in October and November, and we see the spike here as well in November. Although it seems like it's falling down again, that could be uh, some uh, kind of statistical uh, coincidence. So the trick here when we're doing this is to look at several different words and see if the trend is consistent because we don't really know for each word how the dynamics is for the searches of that word so we'll have to infer from a number of searches what the underlying trend is we can do a search for pink slip as well see what that tells us well, we can see that there was a huge spike in September for pink slips, and there is one in November as well. The trend is not that clear. What we can see the trend most clearly from is un unemployment, where we started out. And I believe this is very, very worrisome. We can clearly uh, indicate here that it's likely that the numbers for unemployment uh, during November, when they come out, will see a sharp rise from October. And the rise is not just exponential, as we see from the start of the curve here, something dramatic happens in November, and we see a exponential rise in uh, the interest and the searches for unemployment. This is very worrisome indeed. And anyone who's in the stock market would be advised to pay very close attention to this. When the numbers are released in uh, December 5, uh, I, it is my belief that uh, the um, numbers will be very bad and that this exponential increase in the unemployment rate will be quite obvious and this will send the stock market south.